Too often, we're tempted to think that we can't experience God's presence, joy, and fulfillment when life is hard, and we hold our breath waiting for brighter days ahead. But what if I told you that God's favor is just as much in the valley as on the mountain top? If you are in a difficult season, take a deep breath and watch this video to learn the one truth that can completely change how you experience God in dark times and ignite a hope in you that you never knew you had. Stay tuned. Welcome to Beloved Women with me, Christina Patterson, where we empower women in the love of Jesus Christ and the truth of God's word. If you are new here, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe so that you never miss a video. And for those of you returning, welcome back. For daily encouragement, weekly Bible study with me, and unlimited videos to grow your faith, I invite you to join the Beloved Women app. I wanted to come to you today and remind you of just one simple truth to encourage your soul if you are in a challenging season. This is something that the Lord has really been speaking to me about in this particular time in my life, but also actually showing me. And that is wherever you are, that is where you are supposed to be because God makes no mistakes and he is always with you. In today's video, you will learn what God promises us when we are in difficult seasons, how Psalm 23 can encourage you to see your challenges differently, and what's better than simply rushing through hard times. So I'm in a bit of a transition season in my life right now, and there is a lot of good things that are going on. Don't get me wrong. But one thing that I've learned is that as God elevates you and takes you to different levels, there are certain things and certain people that you cannot take with you. And as excited as I am about all the new doors that God is opening for me, I'd be lying to you if I told you I wasn't heartbroken by some of the people that can't come with me in this next season. However, throughout all of this, God has sent me so many signs of his light, joy, presence, and purpose. I'm experiencing, and maybe you are too, that pain and purpose, heartbreak and healing, disappointment and destiny, can coexist. In fact, they are often two sides of the same coin. I've been reading Psalm 23 a lot lately and verse seven really took a hold of me last week. It reads, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Often we think that God is only with us when things are good. We think that when things are going our way, when we're getting the desires of our heart, we're healthy, our marriages are strong, our kids are well, and our businesses are flourishing, that it's all a sign that God is with us. But if we hold that belief that God is only with us when life is good, we'll fall into the trap of also believing that if life is hard and challenging, God is not with us. Psalm 23 reveals, however, that God is with us on the mountaintop and in the valley. The truth is you can be broken and God's love covering you at the same time. You can experience loss and God overwhelm you with his peace at the same time. You can be dismayed and hopeless and still have God's grace and mercy chasing you down like never before at the same time. Both can be true. If you're on a mountaintop, that doesn't mean that you got there all by yourself. It means that God is with you. And if you are in the valley, that doesn't mean that God has forsaken you. God is with you there too. Wherever you go, God is with you. Psalm 139 verses seven through 10 says, where can I go from your spirit or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. God is with you, so you are always right where you need to be. There's a particular conversation between Moses and God in Exodus chapter 33 that always has intrigued me and inspired me. The Israelites at this time are being led by Moses through the wilderness as they await to enter their promised land. In an encounter with God, Moses makes a most interesting comment about their journey where he says, if your presence does not go with us, do not bring us up 
from here. Moses was willing to remain in the wilderness and never even enter the promised land if God would not go with him. The promise of God's presence was more important to Moses than the promise of the land. Moses was right because what is the value of the promised land if God is not there? What value is the blessing if you have no connection to the blesser? What purpose is there to make it all the way to the top of the mountain without God? The psalmist says, whom have I in heaven but you? And there is none upon the earth I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. The psalmist is essentially saying, yeah, heaven is great, I'm sure, but the reason why I'm so excited to go is not because of all the pleasure or mansions or even seeing the people that I've lost. Those things are great, but what I desire most is to be with God, whether I'm in heaven or on earth, whether I'm in the wilderness or in the promised land, whether I'm in the valley or on the mountaintop, God's presence matters most. So often we rush trying to get through the hard stuff of life and the difficult seasons to get over the obstacles and challenges. But what if in the midst of the valley, in the midst of the pain, in the middle of the struggle, that's where God's presence is. Is there a blessing on the other side of the storm? Yes, but there's also a blessing in the middle of the storm as well. And that blessing is God's presence that promises no matter what you are going through, He is always with you. Now I know even when God is with you, navigating seasons of heartbreak and loss is not easy. So I invite you to watch this video where I share four signs God is restoring everything that you lost. And for more beloved encouragement, I invite you to download my free Bible study called Worry Free to learn the three lies feeding your worry and the truth to set you free at belovedwomen.org. Thank you so much for watching today. And until next time, be beautiful, be blessed, and be loved.